Hey, this is Matt Williams with Focus on the 615, and we're here backstage, or downstage, I guess, at uh, Music in Motion, our benefit for MS at the Hard Rock Cafe. And before the show, JT Hodges decided to stop by. How are you, sir? How are you, brother? Doing Good to well. See Hello, my name is JT Hodges. <laughs> <laughs> so what's no, been going on, man? Me. Man, I just uh, it's been a it's been a good start to the 2012 year, man. Uh, just released the second single, "Goodbyes Made You Mine." Um, yes, tell us a little about that. Uh, re released it three weeks ago. It's uh, it was the last uh, second song. We already finished the record, and um, I threw it to the president of my label. I always, you know, pitch him songs. Uh, We've been doing it for the second record, kind of starting to build up sure. that process, and he had played it for everybody at the label, and everybody liked it. They were like, nah, that's going on the first yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, two weeks before we uh, actually were supposed to send it out to radio, and uh, everything worked out, and it's basically one of those songs that you're kind of looking across uh, at the special someone. Mm -hmm. You can tell they're holding back, and you say to them, look, let go of whatever it was that happened to you in the past, whatever broken heart you suffered, don't bring that into this. I'm different, uh, and I'm thankful that all those goodbyes made you mine. So I'm excited about people hearing it. That's, that's country music, right? There. Hey, you know <laughs> that, that's that's why I love doing it. I love writing songs. Yeah, and tell us about the first single. First single, Hunt uh, you down. A little summer ditty called "Hunt You Down." You mm -hmm. just said it, man. And uh, I don't know, man. It just uh, it was inspired by a night in Memphis. I had an opportunity to go to. Is that where it was filmed? I was watching the videos. Yeah, we filmed the video really, on Bill Street. Really cool footage, yeah. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we uh, we filmed the video on uh, on Bill Street, and the song's basically just inspired by night in Memphis, man. I've uh, I've had family all my life in Memphis. I've always loved going there. I uh, got got an opportunity to go to Graceland, spend a night out on Bill Street. A lot of crazy things happened that uh, I will not confirm whether or not. <laughs> the song is, is is true in all in all facets, but <laughs> but uh, had a writing session the next day. Wrote it with a guy that turned out to be from Memphis, mm -hmm. and it just all the stars aligned, and we wrote the song. And never would have thought it would have been a single, but uh, everybody vibed on it, and so that was the first single. Yeah, it kind of, you know, and it's a good summertime yeah. type jam. Yeah, just happened to be a, a lot good, of fun. Good, good time to kind of jam out a little bit. So yeah. So what else can we expect on the album? What other songs we got? These two. What else? Well, I can tell you this: you can expect a diverse record. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a there's a lot of things I like to do within the frame of what I do. Um, hopefully, no matter what anybody hears, they'll always say, "Well, that's JT." Eventually, that's the goal. But uh, you know, I I always say there's a song for everybody on this record. You know, if you didn't particularly care for "Hunt You Down" or maybe "Goodbyes Made Your Mind" is your thing, I, I, I'm almost willing to bet there's going to be a song on this record that you're going to dig. You know, or at least you know say, "Okay, I've been there." Right. You know. And Very so cool. I'm just looking forward to it, man. It's making music is what I love doing, and and just being myself. That's what that's what I enjoy to do. Very cool. So an eclectic record. How about how about your music in general? Describe that to us, if you could put it in like an elevator pitch. Oh man, it's an elevator pitch. I guess it's kind of a combination of like uh, the Bulaway Church Choir in Africa. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've been to South Africa. Actually, I've heard, yeah. I've heard, I've heard that kind of, heard that kind of music. It's man, good stuff. It's you a, had a little southern twang. I think. Uh, I mean, there, you're yeah, not far yeah. off. Uh, <laughs> this day and age, man. But the George Strait said it. Leave the little twang. But it's 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 kind of like a heartland thing, man. It's it's Eagles. John Mellencamp meets you know the the the, the classic songs of George Strait, Alan Jackson. You know, even further back to like a you know Don Williams, George Jones concept and. A great song's a great song. Sure. You know, how I how I grew up, I grew up in a studio and, and I, I was, was gonna ask you about that, yeah. I was fortunate enough to grow in grow up around a lot of music. You know, everybody from T Bone Burnett to Double McClinton to Wayne Newton to Michael Bolton, all these different people were coming through my dad's studio at the time. Mm -hmm. So I mean and then he had a whole audio library of, you know, you know, everything from Muddy Waters to Prince. So <laughs> and, you know, everything between that, you know, George Strait, George Dem, everything was there. And Fort Worth, Texas is known as Cowtown, so country. Mm -hmm. It was always predominant. Is that the, is that the town where they, they had the, the cattle like come through the town yep. square and everything like still that? Still do okay. it. Still do it twice a day. Do they really? Right there in, yep, in stockyards. So that's where you're that's where you're raised. That's Fort where I was Texas. born and raised. Fort Worth, Texas. When did you make it uh, to Nashville? Uh, after I graduated from TCU, uh, I went out west for a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, hung out in LA for a little while, um, and then made my way to Nashville. Uh, it was about four years ago. So, and um, my songwriting just skyrocketed yeah you get to get to this town it's all about the song it, oh actually. man you know it's it's, it's you uh, meet everybody so tell us about that actually you uh you have three co-producers 
basically yeah. on this album and uh they're they're kind of important people <laughs> they're big name guys yeah it, it, you know it just boils down to when, when something starts you, you want to remain loyal to to whatever whatever the movement was artistically and and, and i wanted to keep that camaraderie uh you know mark introduced me to Don, who in turn, you know, I, I learned so much from Don, and then Don introduced me to Mark Wright, the president of Showdog Universal, mm -hmm. and I just felt there was there was something there in all of it. Right. And, um, and everybody got along great, and everybody was kind of just, let's do what's best for this record and for you as an artist, and, and uh, I think we made a fantastic record, and I've learned so much, and I just am looking forward to the future. And, the music that I that I'm that I'm writing now, I'm already I'm already ready for the people to hear that. Yeah, I haven't even heard the record yet, so it's like, how many songs does it take you to write and then boil it down to just one album? Because I, I mean, I've heard anything from you know I wrote twelve songs and they all ended up on the album too. We wrote uh, 152 songs and had to narrow it down to ten. So <laughs> what's what's it, your process? It, it, honestly, it, there is no process in the fact that you write. And if you write 12 amazing songs and that's what goes mm. on the record, then hey, you know, kudos to that person. Yeah. <laughs> in my situation, I, I was the latter. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I wrote uh, probably 100 plus songs. They do. But, uh, you know, sometimes you write a song, it's, it, it's an interesting process. You know, a debut record for a new artist is a tough thing because you'll write some of these songs and you'll think, man, this song means so much to me. But then you'll hear you, the president of your label, you hear your producer say, yeah, but let's, that's, that song's not ready. You right. Know, that, we need, you know, we don't, we, we, we need, that, that, that's a second record. Yeah. That's a third <laughs> record. We'll get to that. Yeah. You know, but right now we've, we've got to introduce the core of what you're all about. Introduce J.T. Hodges yeah, to the world. Introduce J.T. And, and then <laughs> when people invest into what is you know, the main thing that you are, then we can, then we can start building a broader landscape. That's very. And cool. that, that's one thing that I've learned. You know, and, yeah. and, and you're always learning. This whole process of being in this town, Music City, man, it's just, it's just fantastic. And I grew up around music. Mm -hmm. Being here, it's it's almost like I'm right at home. That's very cool. So how much input do you have uh, in in something like that? In in this song, gets on actually. Song? Luck, I'm lucky enough to have a lot of input. Um, my the the label that I'm with, Showdog Universal, mm -hmm. is it's, it's very. It's very small. artist friendly. Very artist say. friendly. Well, that you know, in in my situation, they're they're very into what I'm doing, and, and they're you know they're they're let me be hands on with just about everything I do. So I'm I'm, uh, I'm lucky. That's awesome. So where can we find you online? Hello, JT Hodges on Twitter, Facebook.com slash JT Hodges Music, JT Hodges dot com. Um, you know, I'm all over the place. Google me. Call yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> One final thing: message to the JT Hodges fans. We'll see a whole lot tonight, I hope. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, my fans, there, there's no doubt about it. I'm constantly in touch with you guys on Twitter and Facebook, and you guys are the best fans, and I cannot thank you enough for your loyalty, and I look forward to continuing this ride with you. It's going to be fun. All right. We look forward to it as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. JT Appreciate Hodges, you. focus on the 615. We'll catch you later. <laughs>